Now, a five-year-old boy with an ultra-rare immune disease that without treatment children often don't survive is now living a normal life thanks to groundbreaking gene therapy. Issa Hussein took part in a clinical trial to receive the life-changing treatment and is now on an inspirational road to recovery. Issa, his dad, Safta, and Professor Claire Booth join us now. Good morning to all of you. Thanks very much for coming in to talk about this because, you know, it's, it's great to have Issa here looking so well this morning. Safta, for you as a family, I imagine this must have been quite a tough decision, was it? Because it was, you know, a groundbreaking treatment, but it was a trial Correct. for you to have to decide, yes, we're going to go for it. Yeah, I mean, at the time, it was, he was um, straight out of hospital as a baby, um, and we felt like it was our only option. There was no bone marrow uh, available for Issa. That was a full match. So um, we, we sat down, we decided we need to give Issa the best chance of survival. Uh, and we, we spoke with the, the doctors and it seemed this was the way to go. It was our only option. I mean, it's just incredible seeing him now. Yeah. You must be so pleased yeah. about how it's transformed his life. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it was the unknown because um, it happened from when he came from hospital as a baby. Two weeks at home, he caught infections and his umbilical cord wouldn't fall off, his BCG wouldn't heal went back into hospital, so it was all unknown. It was peak of COVID as well as 2020. So it, sorry, it was a difficult time well, yeah. um, for everyone. And then when we went to Great Ormond Street, <coughs> they gave Just us... Just like any five-year-old, really, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. So then when we went to Great Ormond Street, um, when they gave us his diagnosis, yeah. still, I had no idea what it was. When they discussed... We'll get that back. Hold on a second. There we go. Yeah. That'll help. <laughs> and then when, we, when I was told about what the treatment involved, um, the only understanding I had of chemotherapy was like cancer, so I realised yeah. this is going to be something really serious. Mm. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take. We don't know what the outcome is going to be, but um, luckily it, it, it worked out. Mm. It's just yeah. amazing. I mean, it's incredible. I mean, you've been sat here just. Like, I've been watching this last few minutes before we even came on air, and you've got this beaming smile, Safta, and I, and I feel yeah. like you, you must be just thinking, well, you, you maybe thought this day would never come, and you just seem to be yeah. so, so happy and pleased that you've got yeah. to this point. It must mean absolutely the world to you because I'm guessing. You, well, you, you would have feared the worst. At one yeah, point. I think me and my wife, uh, for the last five years, has been touch and go at times. It's been difficult at times. Um, I mean, there was times where Issa, we didn't think he was going to make it, and but we're just glad we're building memories with him now. Yeah, it's he, so special. Now he he was given a t you know two-year life expectancy literally. essentially, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. literally. At, at the time, we had to make a quick decision because, yeah, again, we only had uh, a two-year life expectancy. So. Now, he can't speak at the moment and he's learning to use his hearing aid, but the hope is that, mm -hmm. that he will learn that over time and hopefully not right. in the not, not too distant future. He'll be, he'll be doing your head in, probably. Oh, he will be. <laughs> uh, like, Dad, take me here and there. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why we're not asking Easter direct questions, but he's very occupied at the moment anyway. Yes. Um, Claire, let's come to you because I'm just fascinated by how this treatment works. It sounds incredible, you know, the wonders of modern medicine and what we can do these days because it's so rare, isn't it, what he has? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the condition that ESA has affects actually probably fewer than one in a million children. Um, but actually, it's research into these rare diseases that actually can help, you know, develop new treatments and new therapies for more common diseases. Um, so, for example, we've been doing gene therapy at Great Ormond Street Hospital for about 25 years now for really, really rare immune system disorders like ESAs. And what we've learned through that has um, allowed us to develop new treatments for more common conditions like blood cancers. So now there's a gene therapy for blood cancer that's available in the NHS. Mm. And that wouldn't be possible without research. I, into I mean, just to put this into constant, uh, ESA is just one of two children in the UK who've received this therapy. One of nine in the entire world. Yeah. I mean, that is quite amazing. Just very simple. I know we saw a little bit in the VT. Just very simply, just to explain to what, what, what is gene therapy? How, how, do, how does it work? How would you describe it in the most simple terms? So, so gene therapy is a technique that uses a gene to treat or prevent diseases. Mm -hmm. And there's many different ways of doing it. But in Issa's case, we added a working copy of the gene that his body needed right. to his blood stem cells that allowed him to grow a working immune system. Wow. It's just incredible. It wasn't all plain sailing after he'd had the treatment, though, mm. was it? He ended up having to have further surgery. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I, um, Issa was also born with a really serious heart condition that required surgery. But because his immune system wasn't working properly, he wouldn't have healed properly after that surgery. So we needed to fix his immune system before he could go on and have that. Right. So we did the gene therapy, fixed his immune system, and then he was able to have the heart surgery and actually healed just as a healthy child would. And, and are you confident, Claire, that Issa now will be able to grow up to live a, a normal life? I mean, you know, are there things that he's going to have to be wary of as he grows up? 
So, I mean, you know, we have only been doing this therapy for this condition for about five years now, um, but we know from other trials using the same technologies and similar diseases that actually this effect lasts for many, many years. Right. Um, so we expect that. And, you know, he's now in a position where um, you know, he's not getting infections, he's not spending time mm. in hospital, he's not taking preventative medicines to stop infections, he's at school, you know, He's it's just spending time with his family. Safter, what does he do now then that you know that he, he wasn't able to do before? Because you must have seen just such a huge change yeah. in him, but now he's able to have a, a proper childhood. He's um, a bundle of joy, let's say. So he, he loves football. He's always kicking a ball around. Mm -hmm. he, he just started walking about age three and he loves he loves going to school. Nursery they do quite a lot with him as well. Um, and he, yeah, he just, he's just enjoying life with his uh, siblings. Something. You must be so, so grateful to Claire and her Absolutely. team and everyone at Great Ormond Street Hospital, right? When she's just, just a hero. It's another yeah. hero just sat super, right there. Superhero. Superhero. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. Helped us a lot. Well, yeah. Issa, you know, thank you very much for coming in to see us this morning. We're so on. delighted. Hold we on. have Before you a couple go. of presents oh, for you. Look at that. Oh, here We're we go. We might get it's your a, attention. It's a big one. It's a big <laughs> one. Are you all right back there? Oh, wow. These are for you. Look at this. What? There we go. Yeah, and, your skills. and there we go. And a monster oh truck. You can see inside that. Show that. Yeah. <laughs> there we are. He'll be riding on that later. Right. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank I'm sure so this much. will keep him busy for quite Absolutely. some time, won't it? Um, it's been such a pleasure to have you all on this morning. We're so yeah. pleased to see Issa Thanks looking so, so well. Thanks very Thank much. You Thank us. you. Uh, and if he does play football, he'll play for Aston Villa, right? Ooh, so maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>